February 23rd, 2011. This is Polling You number 44, Slam Bidding Part 4. Welcome, Bridge friends. It's Michael here at Bridge Hands. The saga continues, and we're going to be speaking about the Blackwood Convention today. First, let's begin with a little bit of a review. You'll recall that we talked about the three-way triad, the different types of slams. One's the classic slam, where we have a moderate shape, nice strength, and oh yes, we have controls where we're bidding in six of a major or maybe six of a minor. Then there are those where we have the strength and we have controls, but not a lot of shape, where we're bidding in no trump. We'll be passing on that today. We'll just mention it briefly on another convention. Then finally, the hands where we have a big distribution, where we have a lot of shape and the controls, where we have kind of a magic type of hand where the distribution is our friend. Maybe shortness. Maybe we're promoting a second suit. So let's take a look at the conventions associated with each of those. First, the Blackwood Convention, where we start off in a suit contract and we initiate the convention, the artificial bid, by bidding for no trump. Same if we have a wildly distributional shaped hand. We will bid for no trump. We won't be speaking about it today except in passing, and that is the Gerber Convention, the corollary to the Blackwood bid of for no trump, and that is the four club bid. That's when we're in a no trump with a balanced type of hand. All right. When do we not use the Blackwood? Well, we've been stressing that, but just a little bit of a review. We don't bid a Blackwood when we're missing the ace and the king in a suit, or we don't have controls or shortness. So if we have jack third, queen ten doubleton, even queen jack ten, no Blackwood, please. We do the control bids, and we've talked about that for the last several days. Do you remember the other instance where we don't bid Blackwood? Correct, where we have voids. So if we have a void in a suit, we don't do a Blackwood ace ask because our partner may be showing us aces in that suit. And if we have voids thinking that there's controls there, we might be double counting. We might be off two aces. All right, with that behind us, let's take a look at the introduction to the Blackwood bid. The prerequisites. We don't want to have that worthless doubleton or void. Yes, yes, we've spoke about that. Suit agreements. Well, since we're in a suit contract, we do want to have a suit agreement. Or perhaps we have one player with a self-sustaining suit, where they've done a jump bid, where they've shown a very strong suit. How many tricks do we need? We need 12 tricks to make a small slam. We should have 33 or so distribution points. Could be some extra length. Could be some shortness. And yes, we should have four aces, or at least three of the four, or similarly, we need to have controls in the suit, some shortness in the suit. And a Grand Slam? For a Grand Slam, we need to make all 13 tricks. We better have all four of those aces, or a void in a suit if we don't have all four. And then we're checking to see if we have enough kings. If we don't have four kings, we better have three and have a suit that we can promote. So 37 points, distributionally speaking, or more, for a Grand Slam. Okay, why do we use the Blackwood bid? Well, we want to explore a small slam, so we start off by bidding for no trump to ask, to say, partner, how many aces do you have? We want to ensure that we have three or four aces. Or if partner has a void or we have a void. Next, exploring a grand slam. Well, we better have all four aces or the controls, right? So we're promising first round of controls in all suits. And we're going to do a follow-up bid after we've done the four no trump. We've got a response from the partner. We like the response. We have all the aces, all the controls. Now we bid five no trump to ask on the kings. We want to ensure that we have a sufficient number of kings. We're interested in how many? Yes, all 13 tricks. That's at 37 distribution points or more. Okay, let's get some examples of Blackwood. Blackwood would be one heart by herself. Three hearts by partner. For no trump. Okay, there's initiation of Blackwood. How about one club by herself? One heart by partner this time. One spade by herself. Four spades by partner. Partner responder is just showing to have 13 points or more. We might have a minimum hand. And if we have a lot of extras, our partner has 13. Perhaps we have 17 to 21 points. We can bid for no trump to say, partner, how many aces do you have? Next, one diamond by herself, 
two hearts by partner, a strong jump shift, 17 to 19 points. And what else? Right, a great heart suit, self-sustaining or nearly so to bid strongly. They could have bid one heart, two hearts are saying, partner, this is Trump. We say, okay, we have a couple hearts, maybe three hearts, and we're interested. We have some extras ourselves. when our partner has 17. Maybe we have about 15 points or more. We're interested in slam. We're checking on what? Yes, we're checking on aces. Next, we open two clubs, 22 points or more, artificial bid. Our partner does two diamonds, two diamonds waiting. We don't bid two spades, we bid three spades. Another one of these self-sustaining suits, a great spade suit, and certainly interest in going to game and beyond. Our partner has a nice hand, maybe eight, ten points or so, likes the spades and says, okay, partner, tell me about your aces. How about some continuation bids after four no trump in a response? One heart by herself, three heart by our partner, invitational. We do four no trump. Our partner does five hearts. We haven't spoken yet about the meaning of five hearts. We'll get into that shortly. If we then go five no trump, well, we've done four no trump. We've asked for the aces. And now when we go five no trump, we're saying we like the response of the number of aces. Now tell us about the kings. So this is the second part of Blackwood where we're interested not only in slam, now we're interested in Grand Slam, 13 tricks. One spade by ourself, three spade by partner, invitational, four no trump, Shh, tell us about your aces, five clubs, an ace response. We go five spades, that says no more ixnay on the bidding a. In other words, we're saying time to sign off, not enough aces, five spades is to play. Thank you for the response, partner. Let's go ahead and just play it in five spades. Okay. How about one club by ourselves, three clubs by partner, invitational jump, 10 points or more, five or more clubs, and no four card major apparently, and then four no trump by ourselves. We like that. We have a big hand and our partner sent an invite. We're interested in great things. Our partner does five diamonds and apparently we're not very excited on this bid. Rather than to play in six clubs, where could we go? Well, how would we play in five no trump? Well, if we bid five no trumps, that's asking for kings. So if we come up with this seemingly unusual bid of five spades, nobody's spoken about spades so far, so we're clearly not interested in spades. When we bid a new suit at the five level, we're telling partner, you bid five no trump, we want to play. So this is telling our partner, we want you to bid five no trump, so it's a forcing bid to say, sorry, we're not interested in slam. We're just interested in five no trump. Yes, I understand you have a lot of clubs. I just as soon play in no trump. And by the way, we get more points in no trump than we do in five of a minor. A little bit tricky. You may not see it for a while. Hopefully when you do it, your partner will understand this is a standard agreement on Blackwood continuation bids. Okay, how about some examples that are not Blackwood bids? One no trump, four no trump. Well, we mentioned just briefly in passing that there is a Gerber bid. If we were actually interested in aces, we would do this Gerber bid. We'll speak about it another day. One no trump by herself, four clubs. So when the bidding starts with a no trump, if the response is a no trump, it's just saying, partner, if you're at the high end, if you've got 17 points, go to six no trump. If you're bad 16 or 15 points, just pass my four no trump. We'll just play there. Thank you very much. Versus this, one no trump, four clubs. This is the Gerber ace asking. We'll speak about that another day, but I wanted to be sure you at least saw it here. Similarly, if it goes one no trump by ourselves, our partner does two club stamen, we say two spades, our partner does four no trump by agreement, Everybody likes to play is as though this is quantitative because we started in no trump. If we wanted to show aces, we do this Gerber type of bid. One no trump, two clubs, two spades, four clubs is the standard bid these days that are used for that. If your partner doesn't have this agreement, if they're a social player, they may prefer to do this other treatment. So you may want to have a discussion with your partner, but if you're a duplicate player, most people understand that when you want to ask for aces, you use this technique. And so, what about the responses? What do they mean? 
How do we show our aces? Well, the first step is zero or four. Very seldom would it be four aces, but if we have no help, we use the first step bid, and the first step, we start from the lowest rank first, would be five clubs, it would say zero aces. And if you've got one ace, well, one ace you would go the second step, a diamond bid. And as you might guess, it goes up from there. If you have two aces, you bid five hearts, and if you have three aces, yes, you bid five spades. Well, what if you have some number of aces and you've got a void? How are you going to bid that? There's some bids for it. Be sure your partner knows these. But if you have an even number of aces, then you have to have a special bid that you bid evenly. And that is with five no trump. Shows that you have an even number of aces. Let's say you have two aces and a useful void. That's the way you show that. You have how many controls? Two for the two aces and one for the void. That's three. So the way you do that is you bid five no trump. It better be useful, though. It hopefully isn't a suit that your partner is bid. You can't do it then. And what if you have an odd number? Well, let's say that you have one or three. You bid oddly. You bid at the six level, and you show that suit. So if your partner goes for no trump, and you have three aces and a void in clubs, then you bid six clubs. If you have a void in diamonds, you bid six diamonds. If you have a void in heart, you bid six hearts. But if your partner started with a heart bid, don't do it. Just go ahead and show your three aces then in that situation. So it has to be a useful void. Okay, you've got it. Even number, bid evenly, bid five no trump. An odd number, bid six of your void suit. If the void suit is higher ranking than your suit agreement, you can't do it. So if you have an agreement in hearts and your void is in spades, well, you can't jump beyond six hearts, can you? You can't go to six spades. That'll get you way overboard. But it's normally in a lower ranking suit. Okay, what next? What about when your partner answers with aces, let's say answers with two aces, and you have two aces, where do you go from there? How do you ask for the kings? Yes, you then go with five no trump. So it's one heart, four no trump, five clubs. How many is that? Zero or four. Then there's five no trump. Well, looks like this person has zero. This person had all four and had to do the kind of a kabuki dance to kind of ask. And really, they're interested on kings, weren't they? And then the responses for kings, same way. Zero or four kings, first step, six clubs. Six diamonds, one king. Six hearts, two kings. Six spades, three kings. Okay, bridge friends, we hope you enjoyed that part of the lesson on Blackwood for No Trump Convention. Those of you with the free Bridge Hands membership, please log in for a slide continuation. And for those of you with the premium and ultra membership, please log on to take a look at some hand examples. So in summary, recall that these are ace-asking bids for No Trump Blackwood. And the responses, basically zero, one, two, three. Thanks for coming. Happy trails to you, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now.